<sighs> Goodness gracious me. Ow. Creepiest one of all. The creature stalk, Letitia stalk. Just never knew when to quit, did she? Letitia doesn't know when to quit. If Letitia had, you know, even 0.1% of decency within her cruel, sadistic body, perhaps she would have thought, you know what? The best thing I can do here is plead guilty, show remorse sincerely, make apology to Gannon, not that she can ever give him back his life. She can also never give Gannon back to his family and loved ones and friends and all of the people that he would have met and interacted with and touched and changed and laughed with, just lived with, as is his right. She can never give him back. But she could have gone some way to having any type of mercy from jurors or just general citizens in society who might have wanted to show, on her, show her some compassion and kindness around her personality disorders that she most likely has, around any trauma that she possibly suffered as a young person, a child, when she was vulnerable and needing to be supported, protected. But it was impossible for Letitia to have any sort of humility, apology, compassion. There is nothing in Letitia that isn't immoral, that isn't self-centered, I mean, it, it's very hard to show her some human-to-human -human compassion for any suffering that she's had in her life because of how painful life has been for her emotionally because of how her attachments developed and because of how her emotional development was stunted perhaps and how reactionary she's lived her life, how without ability to cope she has been, how vulnerable she's felt, how scared she's felt, how lonely, isolated at times. It just, it just doesn't, the equation doesn't even out. There's no equals sign in this, you know. She just piles on the pain uh, in the most uncivilized, inhumane ways. That's all we've learned, and it's going to be very difficult for anybody other than, say, people like counsellors that visit prisons because they feel a drive to go in and maybe offer some sermonising or some sort of comfort because they are Christian or because they are paid by the state to you know, do the rounds like Dr. Moore did the rounds, just checking in. What we can be guaranteed of is no matter what happens to Letitia at the end of this trial, she's going to be on a 
plethora probably of medication she's not going to like it and it's going to be ordered and it's going to change her core being it might make make her quote unquote better but she's she's going to suffer in a new and different way and um you know it's hard to feel sorry for her dr lewis met with letitia and perhaps one of her attorneys on the sunday before the resumation of court hearings this week and it was unrecorded audio video therefore can't be used and Letitia's still trying the same old bullshit of let's just make sure that Dr Dorothy Otno Lewis knows that I have had a head trauma so I definitely come under her definition of insanity As Jules pointed out, Dorothy Otnell Lewis wants to study people forever. But while they're locked up in asylums, you know, these asylums that, um, you know, society, we, we decide not to fund anymore. We prefer prisons and people to live on the street and that sort of thing, or just to suffer. But uh, I don't think Letitia thinks anything through. And she just certainly hasn't thought this one through. I would say she was very uh, bullying toward her attorneys and insisted that NGRI was the only way to go, wouldn't accept anything else. So, look, these guys are probably just doing their best. No matter how cosy we can think that they're looking, I don't think it's true coziness. How could it be? Unless she is... Um, you know, Casey Anthony-ing, that cosy attorney. We shouldn't say that before knowing more about him, I guess. Perhaps he's got a wife and children and we should be more respectful. But maybe he is just the one that wants to be there showing her some sort of human compassion, you know, unlike anything that she's ever shown anyone. Um, because maybe he feels like that's his duty as a human being, as a person who is being of service in the community. That's a possibility. But the laughter, the gesturing, it is all obnoxious. I don't know how it's not been held in contempt of court, quite frankly, but maybe the judge just realises that it really doesn't matter. So what can Dorothy Lewis say? I mean... I'm interested in her knowledge because she is a learned person, but hey, you know, sometimes when it's also didactic <laughs> to some degree, is that the right word, then I'm not so sure um, we should put every bit of weight on it that we have. Maybe just stand on it with one leg. Because Dorothy Lewis, she's, a, she's, an, she's an academic. She's lived in this different world she has immersed herself in a world of her own making kind of and you know it's a very it's like being a cloistered nun nearly right um arthur shawcross have a look at how he dealt with her perhaps letitia stout did the same but i hope that um dorothy lewis learned a lot from the people that she was studying for crazy not insane the documentary that she is famously subject of look perhaps Letitia did know that the writing was on the wall all along and she knew that she would go to prison and couldn't even handle say you know 40 years or especially if maybe life actually means life so I don't know, possibly she thought if she can go to an insane asylum, a state mental hospital, perhaps she thought that would be easier somehow. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's not an asylum in the sense of 
days gone by when people just were looked after um, in safety and security when they had when they had more silence and they had more space and more freedom I mean it's horror have you ever been in a mental hospital in any sort of institution like that I can tell you for even a day it would be something that you wouldn't want to live in repeatedly and that's going to be Letitia's life one or the other and I guess we're going to find out soon which one it is our, our, our logic or our analytical skills and our knowledge of the case our belief about what happened looking at what we see evidence I mean she just seems so clearly guilty acting with criminal intent with the knowledge of right and wrong and perhaps even in a premeditated manner and then acting abhorrently and still very criminally after the fact I mean how can she possibly be found in GRI with what we've witnessed There just isn't the evidence to say that she was in even these depersonalized or fugue states while she was doing a lot of these searches, buying the second and third phone and um, wondering about having um, a full face <laughs> transplant. Oh, some of it has just actually been comic relief and it's not at the, um, you know, it, not laughing around Gannon at all but man some of it's been hilarious and a light reprieve to hear her <laughs> those desperate searches even still you know find a man so that I can live with him the surgery I need how, how can I stop my fingerprints from showing up Things like this. The lady's a moron. She, she's a sadist. She's a murderer. And she's a moron.